Hey guys, another quick tutorial. Today we're doing a metal patina. And we're going to start by coating our pieces, and these are both cast in resin, with flat black primer. And I like to do this with any piece that I've cast in resin. Uh, it just helps to make sure that any paint that goes on over the top of it is really going to adhere to the piece well and be durable over time. I'm going to turn this piece around real quick to make sure I've got even coverage on both sides. Now we're switching over to what will be our patina. This is Folk Art's patina colored acrylic paint. And I'm mixing it three parts water to one part paint. And I'm just going to mist it over the top with a small spray bottle that I picked up at my local Target. This process is going to happen a few times for this particular piece because I really want to build up the depth of color so that when I do my metallic finish over the top, you can really see that patina shine through. And we've just jumped ahead to our second application of the paint and water mix. And you're just going to want to do this in succession, spraying it, letting it dry, spraying it, letting it dry until you get the color that you're really looking for. And now we're going to move ahead to our Rust-Oleum Aged Bronze Metallic. And what I'm going to do with this is just mist it over the top I don't want full solid coverage. I just want enough to sort of knock down the bluish green tint of the patina paint and give that look of being a metallic base. You're never any closer than maybe 12 to 18 inches and it's just a light dusting. And then what we're going to do here is we're gonna grab our clear coat and we're gonna give it a nice coat of Rust-Oleum clear matte finish. And this is just gonna seal in our paint to make sure that it ages really well over time. And here's our finished piece. You can see it has that strong sort of metallic bronze color to it, but that patina really punches through in all the spots where it would naturally occur over time. 